Hey folks, welcome back. It's been a little bit. Uh, I'm filming in the morning, so it, the sun is really wrong, no matter where I want to record, right? So it is what it is. So I might be a little silhouetted, I might be a little shaded. But I need to be in the sunlight to show you this here. This here, folks, hopefully you can see that. See how dry that is? That is three cups of dehydrated and powdered kale, the leaf, and the stalk. Well, the stem stalk, the, the leaf stalk, and Swiss chard. So this right here yielded three cups of powdered Swiss chard leaf, the green part, and the stem, as well as kale, all right? So three cups powdered, filled. Well, this right here, when I had it in my mesh dehydrators was, let's see, three times six is 18. 18 trays, folks, okay? 18 trays of Leaves yielded three cups of powdered vegetables, okay? And this will be, I'm not sure if I'm going to capsule them, but that's definitely dry. Or I'm going to capsule some and then I will just sprinkle the rest. So this batch here I plan on using up first and then I will blend them grind them up, pulverize them into powder as I need them, right? So, that's a lot of vitamins. So anyway, folks, um, I have, well, we had a meeting at work, one of my jobs, right? We had a meeting about safety. And for those of you who know one of my jobs, it's a, it can be a very dangerous line of work. It's nothing that I have ever done in my entire life, but I'm falling right in love with that line of work. Yeah, I am. It's, it keeps me busy. It keeps me on my toes. It makes me think. It's very active, hard on the body. It really is hard on the body, but I absolutely love it. So we had a meeting on safety, and after the meeting, people just started talking, just started talking about the price of food. One of my co-workers, real nice lady, I'm going to set this down. She said that she went in and, and was going to buy, because she had forgotten her lunch, she was going to go into the grocery store and she reached down to pick up an already made pasta salad. You know, it feeds one person. She asked me to guess the price of what they wanted for that, and I said, oh, I don't know, seven, eight dollars, which I thought was high, right? And she said it was fifteen dollars. She said she didn't even bother. She said no one's going to buy one serving of pasta salad for fifteen dollars. No, no, nobody here, it, nobody here in this poor state's going to do that. Not many, anyway. I sure won't. So we got talking, and, and we have some college kids in their 20s they're working and going to school and living on their own well they have found that they cannot afford the high prices they can't they're really struggling with food folks they're really struggling with the, the high price of food and and paying rent right and maintaining maintaining a vehicle so they can go to school and they can go to work right so some of them have decided to rent together, which saves some money, right? So one, one young lady said, I, I just can't afford food. I just can't afford food. She goes, I can afford ramen noodles. She goes, I'm a student. She goes, I'm working as much as I can. I'm trying to go to school. She goes, I've got a vehicle that gets 22 miles to the gallon. That's city, folks. That's city driving, right? And she doesn't live too far from school, and she doesn't live too far from where she works. So that is a good thing, but it's still city driving, right? 
So, I said, well, ramen noodles will keep you alive, but it's really not all that great for nutrition, and it's high sodium, and you have all those chemicals in it, right? So, uh, I suggested that she start searching out for food pantries and utilizing the food pantries. She thought that she would give that some thought. She didn't know much about that. Her parents are pretty well to do, but they live out of the country. And her mom says, well, just keep buying ramen noodles. So, but that's, you know, if you were starving, that was something to eat, right? It would fill your belly for a little bit. So she said that she was going to apply for fuel assistance and food assistance and rental assistance and all of that, right? So people are really struggling. The prices have gone right through the roof. I don't need to tell any of you folks that. You already know all that. But people are really struggling. The kids are really struggling. I'm talking about college kids. You know, they just want to better themselves. And even in the good times, that would be a struggle, right? But you, you get some economic issues going on. Everything is going up. You know, some people call it hyperinflation, shrinkinflation, uh, the dollar's crashing. You know, you can call it anything you want, recession, depression, you can call it anything you want. It doesn't, a name doesn't mean anything when your belly is hungry. All it knows is you need food and you want food and you need to make a living so you can buy food and you're trying to do something for yourself so you're going to college and... You know, three years ago, when a lot of these, a lot of these kids, I call them kids, they're in their 20s. Some of them are in their late 20s. Uh, life was good, right? Life was a whole lot better. And they, they're picking up more hours now. But back when they started school, they budgeted. Okay, I can work this amount of hours for this pay and I can afford this amount of food but now they're having to readjust right they're having to work more and they're they're tired when they're going to school and they're still trying to learn something and they need to keep their grades up and they're worried about about paying their bills and maintaining their vehicles and everything keeps going up and up and up and up right so we need to utilize any resources that we can now, I realize that a lot of people can't live like some of us, you know, back in the woods running a homestead, which did not start up overnight, right? I didn't learn how to do this overnight. I did not. I'm still learning. So not all of us can grow our own food. Not all of us can raise our own meat, right? We, we just can't. A lot of us just can't. So what do those people do? They need to utilize any programs out there from the from the city or the state to help, right? They can budget and rebudget and rebudget as the time changes, right? But some of these people are going to be in a world of hurt, folks. They are. And some of these people you've spoken to about the times coming that are going to be hard. And they say, yeah, right, they didn't, they didn't want to hear it, they didn't want to listen to it, it's just transitory, right? Well, they're finding that maybe they should have started back a little ways and put this away and that away, utilize the seasons, like right now it's apple season, berry season is over, basically the garden season is over. Um, but they can start up again next year, right, but they've got to plan this year for that like if they wanted to put have a have a small garden in you know pots buckets totes whatever they need to start getting those those totes and buckets and soil and what they're going to do for fertilizer and seed and what they're going to plant and how to plant it come next year right they really need that now and not wait until next year so what do you do? What do you do? What do they do? What do they do? Because if they're already struggling and, and it's a fast decline, where are they going to be in another month? Where are they going to be come next spring? Right? 
Hard choices, folks. Hard choices. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this. See how dry it is? Maybe you can't. I don't know. But that's pretty, that's pretty dry, and I've got a lot more. I've, like I said, this is about three cups if I don't pack it down. About three cups. And well, let's see what it looks like packed down. Let's see. All right. Packed down, it's two cups. All right. But that's still a lot of vitamins, right? Out of end of the garden remnants. Still a lot of vitamins. It could be bitter. It could be tough. Uh, but you dry them, powder them up, and sprinkle them on something or capsule them or whatever. That's nutrients. Right? So anyway, I've got to go. This side of my body is warm. This side of my body is cold. It's a little chilly out. I did shed my, my barn coat, though. So when I'm in the sun, I don't need it. When I'm in the shade, I do. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are busy. I hope you all are resting when you need to up here in, in the northeast. And a lot of you up in the northern climates, you can feel the air changing. We got a pretty hard frost last night. The buckets on my deck were had over a quarter inch of ice in it. So winter is fast approaching, folks. So hope you all have a good day, and I will do another video a little bit later. Thank you. Bye-bye.